Hello everyone, my name is Imran and welcome back to our channel. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to use Clipchamp Video Editor. This is a tutorial for beginners, so let's get started. First of all, obviously, you need to search on Google Clipchamp and the first thing you will see something like this. Once you click on that, you will end up over here. Here you can see at the top, we have features and all the features which this uh, website provides you. You can see all over here. You can see audio visualizer, AI video editing, video resizer, brand kit and there are a lot of them over here. But obviously we are going to discuss very few so that video won't go very long. So if you want any specific video for any specific features, just comment down below. Here you can see we have auto captions as well. We have text to speech and recess video and obviously all of these are free. So how you are going to start, just click on try for free. And after that, you will end up over here where you are going to sign up. At the top, you will see continue with Microsoft or you can go with the email, continue with Google or you can go with any one of them. I'm just going to go with the Google and just click on my ID. Just click on continue after that. And let's wait for a while until it's loaded up. So once you enter your email ID, you will end up over here. You can see that what sort of videos bring you to Clipchamp. I'm just going to leave it as it is and click on cancel over here. And this is what it's going to be look like. Here you can see right away we have the dashboard at your home page and you can see get spied with the template. We have templates for YouTube. If you are going for the YouTube uh, platform, you can just go ahead and click on this. We have Instagram and Easter templates, gaming and you can see there are many categories. If you click on all templates, you will see them all over here. Let's wait for a while until it's loaded up. And as you can see over here, we have YouTube templates over here. We have Instagram templates over here. We have Easter, gaming and corporate templates we have slideshows but there's tiktok so there are a lot of things which you can start from the right away with the help of templates and you can go back to home page by clicking on that and let's wait for a while and this is where also you will see your projects as well so your projects will be over here and at the top we have obviously they are showing you some pop-ups with the trim video record yourself obviously you can do that we have text to speech as well on the left side we have brand kit if you click on brand kit you will see all the brand kit over here your logos fonts and color palette what is brand kit actually you can create consistent video content set your brand fonts colors and logos if you have a brand and this will apply to your any video out there which you are going to create this is one of the best thing as you can see these are some things which they are trying to show you over here on the right side of this image like color palettes, fonts and every single thing. So this is very good and obviously this is also a very different tutorial. If you need that, just comment down below. We have templates over here like we have already talked about. We have folders over here. You can create folders by clicking on over here and click on create folder. I'm just going to write demo over here and click on create folder. And this is where I'm going to create a specific video. Let's say you want to create videos for demonstrations over here so you can add them over here as well so this is all about organizing and at the bottom left corner you can see we have installed desktop application so it has their own applications as well so without further ado we have already seen every single thing over here we will go to the settings later on in video or any other video if i create for this one so right now i'm just going to create a video let's go back to home page and at the top we have create a new video from the stretch or you can go with the ai I'm just going to do that with the new video. Just click on that and you will end up over here. Here you can see this is a very similar interface like other platforms like, you know, CapCut or Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. So you will see the similar interface over here as well. You can drag and drop your media over here. We have on the left side, we have record and create. You can record your screen, camera and obviously audio and text to speech as well. We have content library. If you have multiple content, you can integrate or you can just say drag and drop all this over here we have border sound effects overlays uh, and other stuff as well like backgrounds videos green screens so you can use them over here this is by default by the way so you can go ahead and choose that from over here as well we have templates you can see all the templates will be available here as well so you can select them as well over here we have text with different animations you can add that on your video we have transitions obviously if you are trying to add transitions you can also do that and brand kit which we already talked about on the right side you will see the audio fading 
filters, effects which you can use on your videos, adjust colors on your videos, speed, transition again and colors as well. So how you are going to import? At the top left corner, click on your media and you can drag and drop over here. You can easily drag and drop a lot of stuff from by clicking on import media. So as you can see, I have added the video over here. If I click and drag that over here, you can see this is my timeline now. You can see that I have added the video, but also the audio as well, but you cannot see in the separate. On the right side, right away, you will see the volume and just click on detach video, audio, sorry. And you will see the audio as well over here. And on the left side, it will be created as an audio. But now what we are going to do, we are going to click on fade over here on the right side and you can see fade in. So what does fade in mean? You can see that on the right side, we are adding 0.5 second fade in, which means it will open up like this and it will work like that. But we are going to leave it as it is right now. And we are going to click on filters. You can see all the filters will be available over here to apply on your video over here. You can see we have contrast, fall, winter, and we have warm coastline. And there are a lot of them over here, as you can see. We can select from over here. And I'm just going with this winter one. And we have effects. You can add effects if you want. Well, I'm just not going to add effects. But if you add effects, obviously you can go ahead and select the properties as well. How much you want that effect on your video. We have adjustment colors. Obviously, if you want to adjust colors, you can do that. I'm just going to go with the less saturation over here and more contrast as well. And exposure might be more. And this is how it's going to be look like. You can select the blend mode as well from over here, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. And you can set the speed of this video as well. You can increase the speed or you can decrease the speed if you want. I'm just going to go with the increase the speed a little bit after that if you want to change the aspect ratio of this video let's say you want to create this video for your shorts so how you can do that at the top right corner you will see the all the aspect ratios over here let's say you want this on vertical and you can see over here just click on this and click on this fill once you click on fill it will do your work whichever you want and you can resize it if you want you can uh, play around if you want it so I'm just going with the basic one, which is going to be 16.9. And I can crop that from over here as well if you want to. And let's give it as it is, I guess. And let's resize it if you want. So this is all you can do over here. On the left side of the menu, let's drag some text over here. I'm just going to add this one, drag and drop. Increase the duration so it will stay over here. So this is how it's going to be look like. I'm just going to write, you know, short line. I can select the text font over here as well on the right side. As you can see, we can select any one of that. I'm just going with this one or you can go with this one as well for this. I'm going to decrease a little bit size of this one and adjust that at the right bottom. We can add the fade in effect on this as well. So this is going to look good in my opinion and fade out effect as well a little bit once you've done all of this at the top right corner we have export and you can export in the high quality unfortunately you cannot export in 4k media it has a premium plan for that if you click on upgrade you will see how much you want to give so that's it after that you just need to click on 1080p if you want to export this one and as you can see it has been exported right away and if I play this video, this is how it's going to be look like. So this is what I have made now. And that's it. This is all you need to know how to use Clipchamp video editor. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe. Bye bye and take care.